All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel for another update on crypto.com. It's been a little while, so let's dive right into this. I want to look at the lower time frames. I'm going to talk about some bearish signals I see playing out. It looks like the next breakdown is right around the corner. So I want to let you know what price targets I've got my eyes on. Where do I think crypto.com is bottoming? We're also going to revise some of my bear market low price targets that I previously let you know about. Like I said, the last time we were looking at crypto.com, we were somewhere around about this 17, 18 cents. And I was calling for an 80 well 70 percent drop down to five cent i want to let you know is that too conservative is that too bearish let's dive into the lower time frames first now if we go over to the one hourly time frame this is what i'm seeing playing out on the total crypto market cap i'm seeing it playing out in the stock market and i'm also seeing it playing out on bitcoin and the altcoins let me show you so since the most recent cpi report you know do i need to point out where the cpi report is i think all of you know by now one hourly time frame as soon as this came out boom we talked about this on the channel so hopefully if you're a seasoned veteran you've already heard about the news update if you're new to the channel warm welcome if you want both TA and news updates, be sure to head over to my channel, turn on notifications. But one hourly time frame, Crypto.com is clearly forming a bear flag right now. And the stock RSI is starting to move down very, very quick. So this is indicative to me that we should be breaking to the downside of this bear flag. I'll give you the price target of this, taking it out of the log scale so we can get an accurate reading. So this should be taking us down to 9.7 cent, which from where we are right now really isn't too much of a big move. If I give you the price target of this, this will be about a 12% drop. So really not the end of the world, but let me show you what it looks like on other cryptocurrencies first. And I'll show you why I think this extreme weakness is going to be worse for crypto.com. So you see this bear flag playing out, but you see this slanted to the downside. And with every every couple of hours, we just keep on making lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, and lower highs. However, when you go over to Bitcoin, while this is already breaking out, to the downside now because it hasn't been uh, significantly making lower lows and lower highs like it has been over on crypto.com you can see this bear flag nonetheless bearish pennant whatever you want to call it it's much more beautiful over on bitcoin and this at least showed some strength in the past 12 hours or so before the breakdown at least if you're wondering where i think this is going to i made a video on this earlier 17,300. this is where i see bitcoin coming down to in the short term and look at it on bitcoin it's very nice you've got that uptrending level of support you're clearly showing some interest at least in the past 12 hours you come over to things like solana as well and you can see this bolt this bear flag as well playing out you've at least got higher lows and lower high, uh, higher highs and higher lows in this market but then you come over to crypto.com and once again we're just showing extreme weakness let's pull up the ema ribbons and see where we are so on the one hourly time frame clearing up all of the noise in between we really only need these two right here short-term moving average long-term moving average you can see the short-term moving average we've recently just got rejected from about an hour ago this is coming into the top of the bear flag as well so i'm finding it significantly less likely that we're going to be breaking to the upside of this uh, on the four hourly time frame as well we really only started flipping bearish a little while ago daily time frame a couple of days ago we got a brutal rejection from this so i'm expecting a lot more movement to the downside stock rsi on the daily as well does look like it's got a decent amount of room to keep on pushing uh, to keep on pushing down from where we were on the orange line the last major capitulation we were in around about this area so it's, it still seems like we've got more room to move to the downside in the lower and the higher time frames in my opinion if we move over to some of the oscillators starting off with the daily uh this is what i mean these are the brutal signals that you're seeing the squeeze momentum indicator has not even recognized that we're really switching into a bearish trend yet because we're still going sideways from where we were at june 2022 so there could be a lot more continuation that comes into this, this market especially when bitcoin starts losing this 20,000 region if you're wondering why this is so important well bitcoin's previous all-time high is at 19,900 that was the 2018 all-time high you see bitcoin below that level it's going to be very very brutal and also bitcoin lower time frames micro 618 20,100 so there's a lot of reasons why it's going to be very bearish for crypto.com even more so now that bitcoin is starting to lose these last levels of support and heading down and as you can see the daily stock rsi for bitcoin looks like it's got a lot of room to move to the downside just like it does over on crypto.com now I'm expecting a lot of volatility to take place in the next couple of days for crypto.com. Where are my price targets in the immediate short term? Before I give you that, I'll show you one last final pattern. And this is, of course, this nasty, nasty head and shoulders that's been playing out for a little while now. If I pull up the price target of this, first of all, you can see lovely left shoulder perfect head on this one right shoulder took a couple of weeks to take place at so this one uh, i'm definitely liking the look of this let me let you uh, let me let you know what the price target of this is 
not on a log scale, taking this down. This should be meaning that we should be coming down to about 6.4 cent. And looking at the weekly stock RSI, you can actually see this hasn't really crossed too, too bearish at this moment in time. You know, we're still kind of lollygagging and bouncing around this region. I mean, yes, uh, obviously, blue line has crossed uh, beneath the orange line, which is always a sign of capitulation. But for right now, there's a lot more room to move to the downside, considering we're around about this 55 region above the heart line on the stock RSI on the weekly time frame. So as you can see, I mean, we're literally primed for a capitulation uh, on top of the on top of the targets I gave you on the lower time frames on the weekly. You can see if you do have a daily candle body close, me, uh, sorry, weekly, meaning on Monday, on the next Monday opening, if we are opening beneath 11.2 cent, it's going to be curtains and crypto.com is going to find itself absolutely falling from grace. Now let's wrap up this video revisiting some of my bear market low price targets that I mentioned in my last videos. Now, right off the back, we talked about this level. This is a 1.618 Fibonacci extension down at 5.2 cent, but I've also got a green line like right on the dot for 5 cent because this is going to be a psychological level. And if you have been watching my crypto.com updates, like I said, it's been a little while since we've done our last update. I'm not too focused on altcoins right now. So if you're new to the channel and you're hoping for a channel that provides daily crypto.com updates unfortunately i'm not your guy i'm the daily bitcoin guy uh, but nonetheless i will be looking to uh, start frequently covering cryptocurrencies like solana like crypto.com like elon like those like shiba when i do believe the bear market lows are in until then i'm going to be talking about these macro higher time frame videos because where we bottom is all I really care about. I don't care too much for the noise in between that. Uh, but with that being said, we previously talked about these price targets down here at 5 cent. When we were originally calling for this, this was a 71% drop. Now, if we do come down to this level, it's only going to be a 52% drop and subsequently only about a 47% drop from its previous lows. Now, judging how the market cap of crypto.com is round about that 3 billion region and then you can also check out competitors like binance which obviously have been around for a heap of a lot longer than crypto.com so take that with a grain of salt but i do think crypto.com i mean in comparison to the rest of the crypto markets in comparison to binance i think its market cap is round about that level that makes sense now i do think it could be a decent amount lower and by a decent amount lower i, I do mean that this 52 percent drop does still definitely make sense to me so in the immediate short term i do have my eyes down here at five cent again uh, once again just letting you know nothing has changed in my opinion from these higher time frame videos uh, but as you can see if you have been sitting on the sidelines since my last crypto.com video pat yourself on the back a lot of people have been telling you know everyone to religiously dca in the whole way down if you just sat on the sidelines since my last video you're getting almost 40 percent cheaper prices uh, so that's all I've got for you today, my friends. Stock RSI, absolutely brutal, starting to head down. And then on the higher time frames, once again, things like the squeeze mom are not even recognizing that we've started to break down in the macro levels yet because of this sideways trending that we've been doing for the past couple of months. And while we are wrapping up this video, checking out the oscillators, uh, daily time frame, like I said before, squeeze mom hasn't even recognized that we're starting to turn down yet. MFI, while it is at 28, if you are a veteran of the channel, uh, you do know that this is a region where mass volatility does start Start to ensue into these markets. Uh, MACD has come up. It's actually made a lower high. It, it didn't quite come up to the heart line and only in the past day this has started to come down on the histogram bars. This hasn't yet flipped bearish. So once again, this is another one of these signals, especially like over here with the squeeze mom, which is literally saying, hey, there's a lot more room to go down. So yeah, that's all I've got for you for this update on crypto.com. Keep your eyes on 5 cent. I think that's where we're going to be magnetized to. You can also see while I am recording this, Bitcoin is looking like it's headhunting for these lower levels. The breakdown for crypto.com is right around the corner, my friends. That's all I've got for you for this episode. And as always, Kawai out. Peace.